Wow. What did we see last time, guys? An absolute demolition job from Bayern Munich. I mean, we all knew that they're favorites and, you know, they're going to win this. My prediction was 3-1, but surely no one saw eight goals coming for Barca. Uh, an absolute embarrassment, you know, as Gerard Piquet called it after the game. This is, uh, for me, is the biggest shame in the recent Barcelona history. Uh, but let's not kid ourselves. Uh, this result last night was coming, you know. Uh, Barcelona away in the Champions League in the last few years has had bad losses, you know. Let's think back to that night in Rome, uh, before that night in Paris, that was a little bit paper over the craps with the uh, with that remontada in Nou Camp. Uh, last year in Liverpool, you know, this has been coming for years and uh, Barcelona is an absolute mess of a club at the moment, uh, you know, uh, from top to bottom. You know, let's start with the top, you know, Bartomeu, the board of the directors, the decisions they've been making for the last few years, the signings. Um, I mean, just to rub more salt into the wounds, Coutinho, one of the, you know, players that Barcelona spent a lot of money on, didn't fit into the squad, loaned them out, um, is not playing in the Bayern starting eleven. comes in for a few minutes, scores two goals, and gives one assist. Uh, just to basically even show uh, that uh, he is still a great player. He's just, you know, needs to be in the right system with the right coach behind him and then he will deliver. Um, the signings, the, the coaches, you know, uh, Valverde, you know, see, he was the scapegoat for all these months that, you know, Barca fans were saying Valverde out, he's not playing the, you know, the Barcelona style, he's the the person that's at fault. Look at that now, you know, Kike Setien coming in uh, and everyone wanting Kike Setien's uh, resignation. Do you really think that's the problem with Barca? Do you really think it's Setien? I mean, it was clear when he was coming in that he was basically doing a six-month job. And it's someone that the board is using as a scapegoat um, to hide the real reason. And the real reasons are up top. Um, I don't know. I don't know what's gonna happen with Barca. You know, they. It feels like an end of an era. You know, that's the the feeling that I get. Um, I got flashbacks from that uh, Germany uh, Brazil game. I'm sure some of you did too. I mean, it's no coincidence. We have three players that were on the pitch in both places: Neuer, Müller, and uh, Boateng. Uh, but on the pitch, there's other problems as well. You know, Messi is aging. He seems to have a little bit too much influence. On, on what's going on on the pitch and that's never a good you know story in football and we have such a powerful player and uh, an aging squad that could not compete with Bayern Munich last night you know um, the main leaders of this team are over 30 now so let's see uh, talks of Pochettino coming in I don't know if that's gonna change anything short term um, the elections of the Barcelona president are in in the spring so Bartomeu, for me, is definitely not getting re-elected. And that's where I think something could, uh, a real change could happen in Barcelona. But until then, um, I can't see um, what, what's going to happen. I mean, Barca fans, let me know. What do you think? Who do you want to see coaching your team? Uh, is it Pochettino? Is it Xavi? Who I don't think will come uh, as long as Bartomeu is still here. Let me know in the comments below, Barca fans. But of course, let's not take away... Uh, from Bayern because Bayern is an absolute machine right now, you know um, At the beginning of the season they struggled in Germany if you remember they were I think third fourth in the league They, you know, they, they really uh, fell behind um, Dortmund Leipzig uh, But then uh, with the start of 2020 and of course after the break uh, they've been an absolute um, force, you know uh, in the Champions League don't forget, they already beat Tottenham with seven goals. So that's not the first time they score so many goals. Um, they just don't have a weak link in that team. For me, the only thing was probably Boateng at the back because he's aging a little bit. But uh, even then, you know, they were solid. From the off, they showed that this, they, you know, they're, they're up for it. And um, they executed uh, their, their system, their tactics. Absolutely deserved this game. And for me, uh, this win... For me, they, they, they're winning this Champions League. I, I, I can't see a team that's going to stop them. Um, let me know 
uh, who is your favorite at this time? You know, now that we know the semifinalists, uh, of course, we still got Man City tonight to see if they're going to make it uh, against Lyon. But uh, who's your favorite now to win the Champions League? Uh, let me know in the comments below. But uh, Barca fans, I'm sorry. You know, it's hurtful. Uh, I know how it feels. I'm an Arsenal fan, so I've seen Bayern Munich walk over my team. But uh, this was another story. I mean, um, it's good that Gerard Piquet, you know, said those things after the game. You know, he has that leadership quality to come out and say even, you know, even though, even if I have to leave, I will leave for the better of the club. But we need a total uh, change in this club. So this is, as uh, someone in the Spanish media said, this is going to be a, a, a huge wave, you know, that's going to, start other changes uh, let's see what the impact will be of course atletico madrid as well knocked out of the champions league uh, by leipzig a little bit of a surprise but uh, if you actually watch the game uh, rb leipzig deserved that win atletico didn't offer anything at all joao felix needed to start that game they lack creativity up front um, and uh, yeah they they deserve it. They lost to a very good leipzig team that even without timo werner showed that uh, they have a tactic, they have a system, and the 33-year-old manager Nigel Man you know, he's not no, he's no fluke. Um, he's doing the things right, and uh, he's got his team into the semifinals of the Champions League. Uh, and that's the first time in 13 years since 2007 that we're not going to see a Spanish team in the semifinals. So, yeah, we got used to it, but. Um, a little bit of difference, I guess. It's time to reevaluate for, for Spanish teams as well in Europe. Uh, we still got Sevilla, of course. Um, possibly a favorite to go to the final of the Europa League. So maybe they will pick up a little bit of the slack and uh, save some face for Spanish football. Um, that's all for Cafe Con Liga. Uh, let me know in the comments below. Especially, I want to hear from you, Barca fans. How do you feel about your club right now? I know it's hard to talk. But, uh, you know, it's time for, for changes and uh, changes need to be made. Don't forget to like, share in your story and come back. We'll talk again about Spanish football.